and welcome. Welcome into an abbreviated edition today of Strategies for Living. I'm marriage and family therapist David McMillan. You know... Yeah, don't even go there. I'm uh, telling you. Uh, broadcast legends, too, uh, would be late. 50, 50 years in broadcast. That's right. 50 years. And when you get to 50 years in broadcasting, Tom Pace, you officially get the moniker broadcast legend. Oh, my gosh. Now, what I didn't think of is that, well, you know, what goes with you older people <laughs> is our memories. Is your memory <laughs> begins to fail a little bit. That's Welcome, right. Tom. Hey. That, Welcome good, into Strategies good, for Living. Good to see you and again. congratulations, man. Oh, congratulations on you for this wonderful broadcast. Talk of the Town is now uh, on the promise, 90.7 FM, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. every afternoon. But more important today, we're celebrating a great article in the forum uh, magazine. And, 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 and I, I will have to tell you my, my heartfelt thanks go out to Jay Covington and to Hugh Johnson and to everybody that, that the, put the that wonderful together staff over for the doing forum. that. Yeah. It, was a, it was an honor, a blessing, and I, but I have to tell you straight up, I'm no more of a legend than, than a goat can fly, but I tell you what, well, I you tell know, you what, no, 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 wait, 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 I gotta say I owe what I have learned uh, over my 50 years, but a large share of it since I've been here, to the late Frank Page. I was going to say, you know, and, and, and so many people uh, don't realize, because maybe some of our viewers may remember Frank from his long-running uh, morning show on KWKH. That's right. Uh, then it, it was 11.30 a.m., the giant, the friendly giant. The friendly and then, giant. then it became the ra Radio Ranch, and he was... He spanned both of those. Yes, he did. And uh, But what people perhaps don't remember so clearly, unless they're like you and me, old, is that in the days of the Louisiana Hayride, uh, Frank made history of nothing else. Of course, he had a legendary broadcast career. But if nothing else, he would be in, in the annals of broadcast history because he said, Elvis has left the building. No, you're wrong. Uh, Let's see. There you okay, go. Okay, there you go. Uh, here's the deal. The deal is that uh, Frank introduced Elvis on the hayride. By the way, today is the 5th. He introduced him on October the 16th, 1954. So we're coming up on he a, introduced, on a an, Yeah, an absolutely, yeah. absolutely. He introduced him 61 years ago. Wow. Coming up this October the 16th at the Municipal Auditorium. Now... The famous words uttered, Elvis has left the building, were not uttered by Frank Page. Horace Logan? Horace Logan okay. Okay. uttered those, those words. words. And but a they've been attributed to Frank Page. Yes, and I spoke with Frank on numerous occasions. Uh, one of the last interviews, I think the last even video interview that Frank did, he said, Tom, I'm so tired of them asking me, what about saying Elvis has left the building? Tom, I tried to explain to him, and now I've just gotten so tired. He just, they go, and he says, yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's right. But, but, but truly, and, and Frank was one of the first ones to bow up on that, that he did not. He didn't. It. That was Horace Logan, that's another right. broadcast that's legend exactly in this community. Right. Okay, how do you do it? We, we don't have a whole lot of time I today, know. But how, do you, how have you kept going? Your show, Talk of the Town, Yes. Promise 90.7 FM, uh, you know, you came and you appeared on this program at the launch yeah, of that show. Yeah, at the launch, fact, I, absolutely. In fact, I think right before you did your first show. That's right. So, you know, each year or so I want to have you back yeah. because we keep up with it. It's been, it's been on the promise now, now for going three on years. Three years, going on three years. And, and the brand itself has been active about 12 years. But, but my website... Well, Ed Sullivan won, at one point it stole was, it from right, you. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> it was the talk of the town back in, uh, back in New York. But uh, so the brand that I put on it, Talk of the Town with Tom Pace, has been active about 12 years. And prior to that, uh, my good friends over at Bandwise helped me create a website called ShreveTalk.com. Right, Alan which is Marcellus. Alan and, Marcellus and, and yeah. company. And, uh, and, and so that is still active. And so I do that. I, I load up podcasts, I put articles on there. Uh, 
I so on, like, what's the website that we can find? Shrevetalk.com. Shrevetalk.com. Trip okay. W, Shrevetalk.com. My question for you, Tom, is how do you stay fresh? 50 years in the business, uh, we're around some of these folks here. Oh, these kids. They, who they, are learning this business. Yes. And hope to be yes. in it for uh, 10 years, 15 years, right. 30 years, whatever. How close uh, can that camera get? I don't know. We'll have to ask. We, 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 How close can you get? We, we've got an operator here. Let me let me have whatever no, no, you no, want. No, 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 no. I want to show them. Me. I, I, oh, my goodness. I, too, was, oh my goodness. was in television, in, and, and that was at the ten, tender age of about 27 oh, at KTHV Lord. Channel 11 in Little Rock. I was a reporter there, and, and I went by the name of Tommy Pace. Tommy, little Tommy Pace. <sighs> yes, and then I changed that to Tom, and my mother about had a cow. And, uh, and So how do you stay fresh? How yeah. do, because each day that I ha get a chance to listen to you, there's always a new topic. You're always coming at a different angle. Uh, how do you do it? I do it because I love what I do. I feel like it's a mission. Hmm. I listen, I read a lot, I stay informed. I have people that call me, will tell me, hey, Tom, this is going on, that's going on. I get it every day. Well, you know, guest on Strategies for Living, we call you life strategist. Yes. And so is that your life strategy I for us? I guess it is. That, it, it, it truly would be. Yeah. I don't make a lot of money, but you know what? I love what I do, and I feel like... Uh, this is my mission on earth. So if there's a secret, find what you love to do. And do it. And do that. Well, well, the book, Do What You Love, The Money Will Follow. Yeah. You remember that book? Oh, sure. All sure. right. Well, that's the same thing. And, and But right now, I feel like I'm putting on a quality show for one hour live every day, Monday through Friday, 5 to 6. And I'm reaching out and touching an audience that wants to hear good news or news of information and not slanted news. Yes. Now, we should mention that it costs you money to, to it, keep the, it, the, it, the show on it, the air. It, it certainly does. I'm not on there for my good looks. <laughs> so, so if people want to... Um, if they wish to help underwrite the show, David, all you would have to do is contact me, Tom Pace, and you can get me at 318-426-8080, uh, or you can email me at tompacer at comcast.com. Dot net, Tom Pacer at Comcast.net. And if you want to say, hey, I'm a Christian, I believe in what you do. I'm an American, I believe in the red, white, and blue. I'm, I'm an American, I believe in, in law enforcement and backing the blue, then, then call me and you can, you can help underwrite what we do. And uh, get a commercial if you, want to, if you have a business you, you, you would, want to promote. You would, you would be allowed to do it. There's certain uh, elements uh, on a, we are a 501c3, by the way unlike uh, the, um, the, the things that are uh, commercial radio. Right. So we'd have to construct their message in a certain way. All right, so uh, we, we're going to invite people to listen to, tune in to Talk of the Town, The Promise, 90.7 FM, 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Monday through Friday. We've got a, a wrap up here today, but I'll ask you to come back and uh, we'll help you. We'll we'll help wheel you in and get you here early. <laughs> that's, that's Tom right. Pace, thank, thank you for all thank you, you do, Mr. David. Folks, thank you for tuning into this edition of Strategies for Living. Don't forget to catch us on News Radio 710 Keel every Sunday morning between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. and in the Shreveport Times, oh, the Voices section on Wednesday. Also at www.strategiesforliving.com for Tom Pace. I'm marriage and family therapist David McMillan. See you next time here on Strategies for Living. Yeah.